Hey internet, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my monthly stationery unboxing, unboxing? No, it's like just a general stationery haul video. It's really more like a haul, right? And then a couple other bits and pieces I've been purchasing throughout the month. So let's kick it off with the washi tape because that's what started it all. Um, I, I can already tell I'm really gonna love this month's um, washi tape from Simply Gilded just because of the color theme. It's blue, it's pink, cardstock with some holographic. Yeah, holographic foiling. And then we have so much washi tape. Oh, this is really nice. This is very ocean-like. Um, okay, I'm just gonna quickly take the plastic off these so you can see it a little clearer. And I'm very zoomed in because I couldn't hold these washi tapes out. There's so many of them. Um, I am in love with this theme. It's very aquatic. Um, I wish I'd seen, um, this would have been a kit I would have loved to have because I can already tell it's very oceanic, aquatic, which is exactly my sort of thing. I mean, my favorite animals are dolphins, favorite color is blue, so it's um, something I really love. So these are very, it's almost like periwinkle blue colors with holographic foiling. These three here have very like ocean-like art. You have jellyfish, uh, sea turtles with fish with the ocean bed, and then you've got like fish i don't know i only know them as flounder but i don't know if that's just the name of the fish in a little mermaid and so i'm kind of tying them together but um those three have beautiful art these are more just like strips um interchanging all the different colors of the kit with some holographic strips these two here are very similar in that they have perforated edges so you can i think it's 3.8 centimeters yeah 3.8 centimeters wide so these ones are the days of the week you've got monday and everything so be great as date covers and then these ones here, these are four. It kind of looks like five because this one is, it looks like it's, this is two, but let me just try and pull them apart so you can see it's actually just four. And they are strips, just beautiful colored strips. So those are the washi tapes that came in this month's Simply Gilded. I cannot wait to use these. I already know I'm gonna be using a lot of these in my Hobonichi um, and other planners. So yeah, I'm really happy about this. I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit. It's really bright today, very sunny. I'm just gonna turn the exposure down and see if that's a bit clearer. I don't know if that was too blown out, but hopefully, see that looks better. So I'm, I'm sorry if it was too blown out before, but hopefully this gives you a better idea of what the washi tape looks like. All right, so then I also did a sticker haul. I needed a bunch of new Hobonichi Week kits, so that is pretty much the only thing I purchased from Hello Petite Paper. I mean, I'm one of her biggest fans from the start. I've just loved her store so much. Um, but these are like the Disney princesses, Belle, um, Cinderella, and Ariel. It's so beautiful. I love her cards. And these are, it's just literally a stack of Hobonichi Week sticker kits. Um, I think I have enough to last me a very long time. I tend to rotate between her kits, um, Helen's from the Coffee Monster Co. and my own kits, but I tend to stretch these over two weeks. So technically they're meant for one week because um, you've got seven days here and then the date covers. But I, I don't know, I don't want my Hobonichi Weeks to get too bulky with too many stickers. I actually didn't know whether I wanted to use stickers in that planner or not, but I, I discovered I can't say no to stickers. I just love stickers. So I thought to reduce the bulk, I would spread one kit over two weeks instead. And it's been working out pretty okay. Let me just see if I can show you an example. Okay, so this would be a recent kit. You can see that this is a Hello Petite Paper kit. I used the date cover here and then I stamped yeah, these are stamps. No, actually, I drew these in myself. These are check boxes, just little heart check boxes I've drawn in. And then um, second week doesn't have the date cover, but still has the stickers. So you get a nice... So you are able to have some stickers, but it's not, like, overwhelming. It's not like a vertical planner where it's, like, just all stickers. Like, this is a much lighter version. Um, so let's go through all the different kits I got. Uh, maybe I'll do it this way so you can zoom in a bit better. So you can get a bit more detail. Um, there's so many in here. I'm just like not sure how many I ordered now, but this is definitely going to last me a really long time. But you can see like the general theme is that she is a watercolor store. So she uses lots of beautiful watercolors. They're very soft. They're very pastel. Um, I find her sticker kits and just her art in general very calming. Um, easy on the eye and I think that's what I really like when I have planners now like I don't like any jarring colors I just want something that's easy to look at so I feel calm uh, this is a Christmas one this is a Harry Potter theme um, Halloween 
I love this one because it kind of looks like astrology-ish. Lots of floral ones. I just love floral ones. Um, another Christmas one. And we have some cactus for this one. This is not technically Christmas. It's kind of like winter themed. And in Australia, because our winter is from June to August, this is really appropriate. I mean, we basically are dressed up in this. Um, more flower. Oh, speaking of flounder and Ariel. Ariel? Ariel. Yeah, I'll go with Ariel. I don't know why I've been saying Ariel. Um, flounder and Ariel. And this one, more floral with some washi tape, bows, a makeup addition, and these are too stuck together. More floral and more floral. So yeah, I have ordered a lot. I should be good for a very long time. I feel like I almost went through her entire collection and just added all her Hobonichi Week kits to the card. Okay, so this is something else I picked up. It is actually, I'm pretty sure they're local Victorian Melbourne shop. Um, I found them, I don't even know how I found them. It was somewhere online. Um, I must have just come across as I was browsing through my Instagram feed. It's a shop called Shimmer Drops. They make their own watercolors. I went through a little bit of a phase where I was obsessed with learning how to make my own watercolors. Realized how messy it would be and decided not for me. I'm just happy to stick to making stickers instead. Um, but her watercolors are really unique in that they're very dual chrome like. Maybe like even, is that a word? Triple chrome? I don't know. I feel like you can get lots of different types of colors depending on the angle you look at her watercolors, whereas the Winsor Newtons, the watercolors that I traditionally use, they're very just basic colors, which are great because I need basic colors, but this was just amazing. To be fair though, I'm just not sure how often I will use these colors. They're really more like little additions to a already complete picture, just a little specs here, and they're kind of like foiling and stickers, I guess. Um, they have a huge range of colors, and I ended up picking up four. They aren't cheap but I know that she hand makes them all and they're all really amazing colors you can kind of all magnetic so I bought the box the tin and I bought four different colors I don't know if you can kind of see the colors here see this one is kind of dual chromey and don't know if it's coming across but these are the colors I got here I'll test them out so I can show you guys what they're like and I love this sample I feel like this is a very generous sample it will last me a really long time so yeah I picked that up so let's quickly unbox them. Um, and I don't know whether these watercolors are different to normally how I do watercolors because I usually just have a watercolor pen. I just usually have a watercolor brush. I just go directly into my watercolors and paint. Whereas when I was reading up online for these ones, they recommend putting like a drop of water on top of each watercolor first before using. Um, so here's this one. Oh, I wish I had the names listed on here. Oh, here it is on the side, Dursalina. So this is Forest. This is really beautiful shimmer color. So this one here is, it looks kind of similar, but I know that when I saw the swatches, they were different mermaid. And you can see it's a, a decent, and you can see there's like a lot of paint in here. There's a little magnet at the bottom and then shimmer drops. This one is probably what triggered my order. I love this dual chrome orange purple pink color. Um, it's called Fairy. And if you ever get a chance to hop over to their Instagram account, they show you how they make the watercolors. Well, not from scratch, but they show you that um, point where you have that glass, uh, circular glass object that they use to kind of mill the watercolor to make it really smooth and take out any bumps in it. And it's amazing to watch. That's like watching that is the reason I was like, oh, maybe I should make my own watercolors, but I have enough hobbies. <laughs> I don't have enough time for the hobbies I do have. So I really don't need to introduce an yet another hobby. I think I'll just be a purchaser of watercolors instead of a, a creator of them. And then here is another beautiful one. You can see blue, purple with a bit of orange and red or pink. Yeah, orange, uh, not, not orange. It's like purple, blue with pink. This is called Eras. So these two are what triggered my purchase because they're just so unique. All right, so I'm actually going to be using my Hovenichi original to swatch because this is the planner I use for my watercolors at the moment. Um, I don't actually have any watercolor paper around. I don't 
use watercolor paper but I highly recommend if you want to get the most out of your watercolors you should be using watercolor paper so I kind of expect that none of the watercolors I use will perform to their optimal level and that's totally fine um, yeah but you can see I've just done like it's it's uh, just general art that I do I'm not really I always get nervous when I talk about it because I know I'm not an artist but I really enjoy the practice so I just do it for fun and this is the book I use for it okay so I'm actually gonna follow the instructions which I never do but for the sake of this video just to try and get the most out of these I'm going to actually put a drop of water into each one just to activate it I guess there we go and hopefully that will make them more colorful I guess so I'll take this one up first so this one is forest oh wow look at how liquid already is it's really fast all right so forest is this color here I don't know if you can see it if it's turning up well on camera or not I can see why they want you to put the water in first because it does pick up a lot more pigment so I guess if you want something really opaque um, then yeah, you'd have to put the drop in. But if you want something sheer, then I don't think it matters. I know I'm not doing this any justice, so I apologize if... If you're the owner of Shimmer Drops and you're like, What are you doing? Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> so that's Mermaid. And then Fairy. You can see I'm like hardly really dipping into it. Oh. Let's get a bit more. It doesn't look as pigmented as I thought it would be, but it could be like it could, for all intents and purposes, be the um, paper and everything. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have swatched these. Like they look amazing in the pan, but they're not swatching as well as I thought they would. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have put the water in first. No, this. So this swatch I just did here was without the water droplet. This didn't exactly turn out what I thought it would be. I think I need to pick up a lot more paint. So let me try Fairy again. I've like picked up way more. So, okay, here we go. So yeah, you need a lot of pigment for to get that dual chrome effect. So that's Fairy. So this would be a very um, sheer version of it. This would be a proper pigmented version. And then I'm going to go into Eros here. And this is, yeah, way more pigmented. There you go. That's what they look like when you pick up a lot of paint. Um, so that explains why they want you to put the drop of water in first because there's no way you'd get this level of pigmentation if you were just using like a standard water brush because you get such a um, minuscule amount of water that comes through. Well, that's what it looks like. Look, it looks blue, but then purple. It's such a cool color. I can't wait to experiment with these. They look so different when it's sheer. Like, this is this, but this is much more pigmented. And this is this. It's so different. Actually, I'm going to try the Fairy Floss sample as well. Um, but I'm going to cheat and not bother putting any water on it. I'm just going to try and pick it up with my brush. Because I think, yeah. I actually quite like how sheer it can turn out. It's got this... It's almost orange when it reflects, but it's mostly a pink. So that's very flossy. It's a pretty decent amount, but I guess if you're painting with this level of pigmentation, um, your watercolors probably won't last as long as mine do. Mine last literally forever because I paint so sheerly with them. Um, like, this is kind of some of the paintings I do. I know, very boring. Um, but yeah, you can see it's super sheer, so I hardly use this much paint traditionally okay I'll put that aside moving on to the last portion of my haul which is with notebook therapy so I purchased from notebook therapy before I really love their items I will say though they're not as cheap as I was hoping they would be generally notebook therapy have a really great range of stationery I'm pretty sure all their stationery is manufactured and um, dispatched from China so I don't know if they're much different to what you could probably get at AliExpress. Maybe that's something I'll try. Maybe I should do an AliExpress haul. I've never really done that before. Um, just to see what sort of stationery I can get back. But that's just like my two cents. I've ordered a couple times from them. Um, often the shipments will break up. So I ordered two items here. 
Um, I think these two came together, but often if I order multiple things, they might come in three different shipments and come at very different times. Um, and because they, I think they use like sh the cheapest shipping um, from China, it took two months for one item to arrive. So you have to be really patient with it. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I'm in like two halves. The quality of the products are really good, I'm going to say. Um, but it feels like the way it comes, it's not like... It's not like an Archer and Olive auto where it's like beautifully packaged and everything seems um, well put together. The items are really good quality, but the way it's brought is feels very, well, you know, as if it was from eBay or AliExpress or something like that. So I don't know, just keep that in mind. So the first thing I purchased was some bullet journal stencils. Um, I have some bullet journal stamps, which I do use occasionally, but I thought I could get a few more accessories for my bullet journaling. So you get this washi paper like sticker sheet which is really cute and then i thought these might be these are so cool i thought these might be more useful than the stamps because for the stamps you have to wash them each and every time you use them especially if you want to change the color whereas these you just place them on drawer and you're done so i feel like they'd be a lot easier to use let me you get quite a few stencils here so you get your habit trackers all sorts of different shapes and sizes that you could use in your bullet journal. It just keeps it nice and even. I'm really excited to try these out. I think these will be really good. And I love that you have a ruler on the side. I think all of them have a ruler on the side, so you don't need to also carry around a ruler. So that's one. Oh, and I don't know, do you guys notice that... Oh, it's not going to help putting my hand underneath it. There's like a grid pattern throughout it. It's like a dotted grid. That's a really nice touch. I didn't realize that was on there when I first bought these. Um, and then this next one is kind of like weathers, shapes. Oh, I love this bamboo. Banners. This is really nice. And then, oh, and I love the wavy edges as well. So you can get this one, bigger waves, uh, sharper waves. I feel like they really utilize every asset. I feel like they made the absolute most of the stencil, which I really appreciate. So different size circles. Seven day tracker. You get quite a lot in this kit. And then there's this one here. Check boxes. Uh, um, hydration. Lots of different types of habit tracking. If you want to do seven day tracking. Uh, this is called a citrus slice. So if you want to create, you can use this just one slice of the citrus of an orange. Um, it's a different one. Lots of different shapes. I like this edge here. And then the last one is this. So very commonly used shapes in bullet journals. And um, they come in a range of different colors. I picked the purple, but I think there's like an aqua and a pink or a blue or something like that. So you can pick which one you want. But I'm really excited to try these out. They look amazing. And yeah, I mean, as I said before, I think that the quality you get from notebook therapy is really good um, even the boxes like these boxes are just so solid and well presented so I will give them an A plus for the quality all right so the last item I got was this bullet journal and you're thinking Selena why do you need more bullet journals I just do <laughs> um, but I love this pattern or this design in the front that's what I mean it's just like these details are so beautiful and this is the journal I bought. So it's actually very similar in sort of design to my last year's bullet journal, 2022. 2022, what am I talking about? 2020. Um, I had a blue, a, like a navy blue journal from Archer and Olive. This one really caught my eye because of this whale design. And it's actually, I thought this was cotton, but it's like a very soft cotton, almost like velvety to the touch. I can't quite explain it, but it's beautiful. It's really soft. I um, love this little wave or um, fin design. But yeah, I don't know why this just feels so calming to me, the whale in front of it. And it's a standard notebook. You can see dot grid. It feels really solid. I mean, if you use an Archer and Olive bullet journal then I would say this is very similar I feel like paper might be just a touch thinner but it's it's so similar like I couldn't even tell the difference it even has the pocket at the back 
I, I actually, if I put them all together, all my Archer and Olive notebooks and notebook therapy notebooks, I don't think I could tell the difference. They're so similar to each other. Um, but the notebooks that I found in notebook therapy, it's really tempting to buy a lot of them because they come in such a bunch of different ranges. Like some of them will have beautiful foiling on this side with patterns on it. Um, I think I saw one that I was like very tempted by, but I was just like, no, Selena, let's just work through the current notebooks you have and then we'll reevaluate at the end of the year. But I let myself buy one. It's just such a beautiful notebook. Um, so yeah, that is everything in this month's haul. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you are interested in anything I bought, I will have them linked down below so you can check them out for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. This is Selena reporting for my room. Back to you, internet. Mm -hmm.